థ్యాంక్స్ లాట్ కేటీఆర్ గారు ఇన్ యూర్ బిజీ స్కెడ్యూల్ మీరు యూ గేవ్ టైమ్ ఫర్ అస్ యాక్చువల్గా మేము ఎప్పటి నుంచో అనుకుంటున్నాము విమెన్కి అంటే మేము మేము కూర్చొని మా డైనింగ్ టేబుల్ దగ్గర మా ఇళ్లల్లో మా ఆఫీసుల్లో కూర్చొని ఏదో మాకు మేము మాట్లాడుకుంటూ గొణుక్కుంటూ ఫీల్ అవ్వకుంటూ ఇలా ఇలా జరుగుతుంటుంది అనమాట అంటే ఎప్పుడు మనం బయటకు వచ్చి అదే మన మన సమస్యలు కానీ మన ఇష్యూస్ కానీ మనం మాట్లాడుకోవాలి మనం చెప్పుకోవాలి అన్న ఒక సందర్భం ఎప్పుడు రాలేదు ఈరోజు మేము ఆ సందర్భం క్రియేట్ చేసుకున్నాం దానికి మీరు రావడం మాకు నిజంగా ఆనందంగా ఉంది అయితే మొట్టమొదటిగా కేటీఆర్ గారు మీరు ఒక పొలిటీషియన్ ఒక లీడరు ఒక మంత్రి ఇవన్నీ అందరికీ తెలుసు కానీ మీరు ఆల్సో యువర్ గ్రాండ్ సన్ మీ నాన్నమ్మకి అమ్మమ్మకి యువర్ సన్ యువర్ మదర్ యువర్ హస్బెండ్ యువర్ ఫాదర్ యువర్ బ్రదర్ ఇన్ని రోల్స్ మీరు ప్లే చేస్తున్నారు ఇంట్లో ఐఎమ్ ష్యూర్ గ్రోయింగ్ అప్ నుంచి ఇప్పటి వరకు కూడా మీ పర్సనాలిటీ డెవలప్మెంట్లో కానీ ఈరోజు మీరు ఈ స్థాయిలో ఉండటంలో కానీ మీ ఐడియాలజీ ఫార్మేషన్లో కానీ మీ వ్యక్తిత్వ వికాసంలో కానీ మీ ఇంట్లో ఉన్న ఆడవాళ్ళు ఎంతో కొంత రోల్ ప్లే చేసి ఉంటారని అనుకుంటున్నాను వాళ్ళ కాంట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఎంతవరకు ఉందండి ఫస్ట్లీ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఐ సిన్సియర్లీ థ్యాంక్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఫర్ షోయింగ్ అప్ సో అర్లీ ఇన్ ద మార్నింగ్ ఇందులో హౌ మెనీ నాన్ తెలుగు స్పీకర్స్ హియర్ సో గైజ్ అబ్సల్యూట్లీ డోంట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ తెలుగు రైట్ సో విల్ డూ అట్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఐ థింక్ కాంబినేషన్ చేద్దాం లెట్స్ కీప్ ఇట్ హైదరాబాద్ ఈస్ ఎస్ ఎస్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఎస్ ఎస్ ఓ ఫ్రమ్ ఉర్దూ ఎవరీ రైట్ సో firstly thank you thank you to all the ladies for joining us and uh, really appreciate all of you taking the time out mir adigindi vyaktitva vikasanlo unnaru i think every human being eventually be it a man or a woman or whoever it is i think end of the day your uh, life experiences really make you what you are one of the strongest uh, influences on me has been my mother because without a question my father you know was a super busy man Yeah. and of course you know credit where it's due he was uh, you know in public life so i would never understand back then as to why he was missing in action why we, we couldn't see him for so many days but now i'm in his role i'm actually on the other side of the table now so i can relate to what he must have gone through kani nijanga kuda you know growing up with and i didn't spend much time with my mother also nenu 10th class lopale I was in seven different schools and I was in uh, four or five different hostels. Okay. So at la early childhood was a uh, very interesting and a, a toughening exercise. At la ante um ante aa rojullo na I'm quite old actually so 47 or 48 so aa rojullo yeah which is about 30 35 years ago it was it was a it was a different world. We didn't have as many amenities as many things as uh, the kids these days do. అయితే ఆ రోజుల్లో అప్పుడున్న పరిస్థితుల్లో మా మదర్కి తనకి మా నాన్నమ్మ మా అమ్మ వాళ్ళ ఇంట్లో మా నాన్న వాళ్ళ ఇంట్లో తొమ్మిది మంది అక్క చెల్లెలు మా ఫాదర్కి అండ్ యు నో ద సిచ్యువేషన్ యు నో లైక్ టిపికల్ తెలుగు హౌస్ హోల్డ్ వేర్ కోడలు షుడ్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద అందరూ మా వదినలు మా వాళ్ళ మరదలు మా అత్తలు ప్లస్ మా ఫాదర్కి ఇంకో బ్రదర్ ఉన్నారు సో పెద్ద ఫ్యామిలీ వెరీ బిగ్ జాయింట్ ఫ్యామిలీ సో ఇక తనకి అంత పని ఉన్నా తనకి మొత్తం ఒక వైపు ఫ్యామిలీ ప్రెషర్ ఉన్నా బట్ షీ మేడ్ షూర్ దట్ యూ నో షీ నెవర్ షోడ్ మీ హర్ వీక్నెస్ హర్ వీక్ సైడ్ ఐ థింక్ దట్స్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ మెసేజెస్ ద కిడ్స్ గెట్ ఫ్రమ్ అస్ యూ నో దెస్ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్సిడెంటల్ లర్నింగ్ అంటే కాకతాళీయంగా నేర్చుకునేది ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది అంటే కూర్చోబెట్టి లెక్చర్ ఇచ్చినట్టు చెప్తే ఏ పిల్లోడు వినడు ఏ పిల్ల వినదు ఎందుకంటే దే ఆర్ నాట్ యూస్ టు యు నో అడ్ అడల్ట్స్ ప్రీచింగ్ టు దెమ్ ఇఫ్ యూ సౌండ్ టూ ప్రీచింగ్ దెన్ బేసిక్లీ ignore you and act like they are listening but they won't but how we behave how we kind of uh, um, you know perform in our day to day lives in spite of our pressures in spite of our work pressures in spite of our life pressures in spite of all the existential realities yanni undanga kuda how do you manage to keep a balance i think that is one of the most important things i have picked up from my mother she's a she's gone through a very a tough uh, kind of a early life because i think she was married at the age of 14 mm. my father and mother were married when they were like 14 and 15 so you can imagine yeah. aputlo i guess uh, the act was not there sharada act okay. so aa rojullo when she came in and uh, i was in the world already when she was 20 or 21 so you can imagine uh, being a parent at 20 21 you are basically an adolescent and you're already a parent so you can imagine what kind of experience she must have gone through mm. and i think a lot of credit to her of course and then my wife 
uh, we've been now married for 20 years almost. And she comes from a non-political family. Uh, her father was a bureaucrat, uh, he, he was a retired forest officer. And Ammai ki non-political family, Ammai ki political family lo ante, it looks circus man. Yeah, yeah. Madhi, good circus. Hai. Very true. Ante roji intlo ko sthe chuda le, bite ani chappulu na inchu saara sthe so ho. Intlo intho mandu nar so mano milli gatne chill poli, itne chill poli. Ammai ho, she is private uh, privacy yeah, korku ne Ammai. Yeah. Atlant Ammai ki e public life lo saranga thrash chedu ante, it's a huge challenge. And yeah. uh, you know, kudos to her for putting up with me. I think she continues to live with, uh, you know, all the things that I, all the nuisance that I bring into her life. So thanks to her for her uh, patience and endure. And of course, my sister, my daughter, you know, I think my sister again is a fighter. She's a dynamic, uh, you know, kind of, and possibly my mother's family alone, baga gut se ko namma yoro ante my sister and undoubtedly, my under kante aggressive. Uh, then my daughter. My daughter is a sobering influence. She's only 14, but she speaks like a 40-year-old woman. Mm -hmm. And she's very wise. Like when she was like five or six, she told me one day, she said, uh, Dada, don't have a goal post. I said, why? She said, uh, no, a goal post, then you'll relax. Oh. So never have a goal post. And she told me much later, she's a very smart girl. She told me much later, about uh, three or four years ago, she said, you know, all the wise things I used to say those days, uh, you remember you keep referring to? You know, I picked up all of them from Insta, right? Oh! I said, oh, the original one is not the original one, but the original one is not So, point in it is, she's a very, very, she's a very calming influence. Yeah. And she's amazingly, she's a, she's a writer. She's already written a couple of books, a very young writer. And she's very creative. And uh, she's one of those really, uh, calming influences in my life and I think uh, my life has changed quite a bit after her. And then of course, I also interact with a number of women leaders. Yes, yes. My day-to-day -day life in my, in my, in my public life. Um, again, a lot of very, very strong women that I interact with. I can give you an example of one of the leaders in my constituency. Okamai, Sampurna, my Peru. 2014 election law, I was campaigning in Sirsila. So, I Congress candidate I think they erected a barrier or something. I said, fine, okay, village, we will win. So I was going away. Then this girl, she is a leader of our party. She belongs to that village. I didn't know her till then. She comes across, like she literally stops my car. She literally stops my car and she says, how can you not campaign in my village? I am going to take you in. Oh. Mundundi, she took me there. She made sure I campaigned. And then I was so impressed with her. As soon as I got an opportunity, because she is she's somebody I didn't know very well of. I made her my agriculture market committee chairman, the very first instant wow. I got. Somewhere. So, very, very strong women leaders. And you know, I also interact with a number of, of course, uh, uh, other bureaucrats, mm -hmm. Chief Secretary Gar Goda, she's a women officer, yes. and she's a very, very strong lady, Shanti Kumari Gar. And then uh, I can also tell you that I work with a number of other women. If we have Deepthi Gar, mm -hmm. she, she's somebody I work with closely. My office, I have Katyaini, who's my OSD, again, a very strong lady. I can go on. There's a number of people. But most importantly, what I also look up to, in fact, incidentally, Hyderabad, Nunchi Vachina, we sporting superstars, Andhra Joste, Andhra women. Ah, no. Correct. Sanya, yes. Saina, Saina, Sindhu, now Nizamabad, Nikhat, Zareen, Tarwata, you can see, Guta Jwala, and then uh, there's so many others. Isha Singh now, mm -hmm. uh, Naina Jaiswal. So all of these young women who have done exceedingly well in individual sports, I keep running into them, you know, every so often, Ikadakada, with different events, we meet each other. And then I'm incredibly impressed with their work ethic. There's so much to learn from these young ladies, you know, the way they balance their lives. You know, professional sport, giving time there and also giving time to the family, especially if they are married and have children, balancing that out as well. So all of these amazing things. And of course, I also have to mention Mahima Datla, Sujitra Ella. Mm. Again, two women yes. who were talked about quite often during entire COVID episode, Biological Evans and uh, uh, you know, Bharat Biotech. Again, very strong women interact very closely quite often. So itla, I interact with a number of women and of course I interact with a lot of uh, young women who are students and I go to IT hubs and you know different districts yeah. interact with a lot of them as well. Some strong, resilient, you know, resilience is what I really, you know, 
can I pick up from each of these young women and women? And more importantly, I think one trait that I would like to imbibe, hmm. if, if possible, that is, is the mental fortitude and the mental strength of women. That unfortunately men do not have. I think uh, we break easy. We break easy. You guys don't. You're stronger uh, mentally, and I I do hope that you know we can yes. pick up that. Especially in elections, we need that. So hopefully, I'll also get to pick up a few of those. Yeah. So Ketia Garu, mano warm up session I pindi. Puru mancho serious session kail padamu. Okay. So nine and a half years of me me government law. ఎన్నో స్కీమ్స్ ఎన్నో డెవలప్మెంటల్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ఎన్నో చేసు తీసుకొచ్చారు అందులో విమెన్ ఇంక్లూజివిటీ అనేది ఏమన్నా ఒక అంశం ఉంటే అది ఏంటి అని అనుకుంటున్నారు ఈ నైన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ ఇయర్స్లో టు వాట్ ఎక్స్టెంట్ యూ సాదర్ విమెన్ రియలీ గ్రూ ఎక్స్పొనెన్షియలీ ద వన్ క్వశ్చన్ ఐ థింక్ విమెన్ నీడ్ టు ఆస్క్ దెమ్ సెల్స్ డూ యూ వాంట్ టు బి ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ ఆర్ ఇంక్లూజివ్ ఇంక్లూజివ్ అది కాదు కాదు యా ఇఫ్ యూ ఆస్క్ మీ వాట్ ఆర్ ద థింగ్స్ దట్ యూ డన్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్లీ ఫర్ విమెన్ దిస్ అ బంచ్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ దట్ యా Hmm. but if it's the larger inclusivity part and what you've done for people at large there's again a huge list of things hmm. that we've done prior to 2014 hmm. 2014 you used to i mean i'm not saying they've completely disappeared i would be lying if i did that yeah. you used to read a lot of these horror stories like devara kondalo appade pottina bidda namukunnaru leda old city lo ఒక అమ్మాయి చిన్న పిల్లకి ఒక ముసలి అరబ్ షేక్తో పెళ్లి చేశారు ఇట్లాంటి కొన్ని స్టోరీస్ ఉన్నప్పుడు యూ రియలీ ఐ మీన్ నో మ్యాటర్ యూ మే నాట్ హవ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఇట్ పర్సనలీ యూ మే నాట్ ఈవెన్ బి అ వుమెన్ ఆర్ అ గర్ల్ బట్ యూట్ బీ షాటెడ్ యూట్ బీ లుకింగ్ అట్ ఇట్ అండ్ సెయింగ్ ఆన్ అ హ్యూమన్ లెవెల్ బీ లైక్ వాట్ ఈస్ రాంగ్ విత్ అవర్ సొసైటీ హౌ కెన్ దిస్ బీ రైట్ అండ్ వెన్ యూ సీ స్టోరీస్ లైక్ హౌ విమెన్ హ్యావ్ టు ఫీడ్ దేర్ చిల్డ్రన్ నోయింగ్ ఫుల్లీ వెల్ దట్ ద వాటర్ ఈస్ నాట్ పాటబుల్ the water is actually causing fluorosis mm. still you have to give the same water because there's no ch- choice like in nalgonda yenni chusina pudu at a at a very human level at a very primordial uh, human being level homo sapien level you feel very insulted yeah you feel as a government can you not get this basics sorted right so one of the most important things that we have done if you ask me is providing portable drinking water connection to each and every home unfortunately in a country like india it's a shame that 75 years after independence a government has to sit and claim that humne paani pilaya isliye humne kuch chappad phad ke kuch kaam kiya that's a basic thing that somebody has to have done long back but nobody did it but we became the first state in india to have given a portable drinking water connection to each and every one of our 10 million homes and then that inspired prime minister and his government mm. to take up har ghar jal campaign which is a good thing so what we have done for example again memo we launched 200 plus schools for minority uh, 100 plus schools for minority young women mm. initially muslim minority and christian minority pillal kosam mem schools launch chestunappudu some people have told us that you know this is not going to work they said no 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 muslim young women don't come out and stay in residential schools ye to nahi chalega but ksr garu did this he said no it's not the case everybody wants education everybody wants basics to be taken care you're wrong and he went ahead with conviction today i'm happy to report to you all that more than 204 schools have been launched for muslim minorities in which we have nearly 115000 students out of which 57000 are young women wow. and all of them are getting quality education on each child we spend 120000 rupees mm. we take care of all their basic needs books uh, their clothing their basic needs etc etc everything is taken care of. on each child we spend 10000 rupees per month mm. what this has done is now these young women are cracking neat they are cracking iits nits iims i think you train a woman young yes, women yes, especially yes. i think you are literally training a generation of uh, young women who can literally become the beacons of change and the beacons of hope so this is something that is that's truly wonderful. That's wonderful if you ask me that's a true achievement the other thing is the other thing is nijanga kuda telangana lo హెల్త్ కేర్ వాజ్ బ్యాడ్ ఒకప్పుడు సినిమాల్లో పాటలు రాశారు నేను రాను బిడ్డు సర్కారు దవాఖాన అంటే గవర్నమెంట్ హాస్పిటల్ పోతే చంపేస్తారు దేర్ బ్యాడ్ టుడే ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషనల్ డెలివరీస్ ఇన్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ హ్యావ్ ఇంక్రీజ్ ఫ్రమ్ థర్టీ వన్ పర్సెంట్ టు సిక్స్టీ వన్ పర్సెంట్ మనకు అరవై శాతం దాటాం అరవై శాతం అంటే ఫస్ట్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ కేస్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఇయర్ సిక్స్టీ ఈజ్ ఫస్ట్ క్లాస్ సెవెంటీ ఈజ్ డిస్టింక్షన్ సో ఆర్ గోల్ ఈస్ టు గో బియాండ్ డిస్టింక్షన్ అండ్ దెన్ ఇన్ఫెంట్ మొటాలిటీ ఇస్ కమ్ డౌన్ ఇన్ బిగ
Maternal mortality has come down because of these institutional practices. More importantly, hysterectomies have come down. So, women's health care and education and participation. And I think these are some inclusive things that we have done at large, but there is still a long, long I, way I, to go. I, I still remember KTR Garu 10 years back uh, when I was in the mainstream media. I was very traumatic and very bad. Chinna chinna pillalu thallu life hai chani paye valu pillal chani paye valu maternal mortality infant mortality and also miranna to shakes ki Dubai shake lagi wala ki villa ke pelli lu chaise ito chinna vai silo I think wo ko padhel luga adi khani pinchat ledo dhani ki karna lu miranna to miru miru petna schemes ayundo chhu arugya Lakshmi K C R kids so many things but wo kabi shakti pandi rendu vela padna algulo rendu vela padhe midlo ipur rendu vela iroi mullo. मीर ये एक मैंडेट पे टेरो अंटे मीरो मैनिफेस्टो लो इंक्लूड चेसे ना विमेन एक्सक्लूसिव स्कीम्स अनुकूल ना कोनी अंटे ओनली एक्सक्लूसिव विमेन कोसम आलान ट्रेवल ना पेट्टू उन्टे यंता वर्को वाट में मीरो साथ हिंसा गली गया रो इन्हीं इनका मिगली पोई नहीं इनका चेयाल से ना यंतुन नहीं � I work briefly as Panchayati Raj Minister. I work, continue to work as Municipal Minister. So in the two departments, lo, we have lakhs of women who are federated into mm. self-help groups. Women are running some supermarkets yeah, as a group. Yeah, yeah. Women are running some small businesses in the rural hinterland. But, but, but I'll, 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 come yeah. I'll come to that. I'll come to that. Moment. See, I was just, uh, you know, reflecting on this. Yeah. There's this young woman who just walked up to me. Mm. Her name is uh, Amina. I don't know where Amina is. Amina Mahmood. She wrote a book and she wanted to gift it to me. And she says, mind your mirror. <laughs> I was just looking at her name and thinking of, there was an Amina, I don't know, you know this uh, yes. story. Yes. Amina. There was an Amina in Hyderabad who got married to an Arab Sheikh Arab and that Sheikh. became worldwide news. And now we have an Amina who's writing books and confidently walked up to a minister. So that in itself, I think it's a great story. But uh, going, back to, going back to the manifesto question, yes, we've done some things, mm. we've done a few things. But there's a lot more that needs to be done, without a question. I'm not trying to evade an answer. See, for instance, we did not promise a women university, ex women's exclusive university in the manifesto, but we've delivered it. Mm -hmm. We did not man ma you know, promise a Kalyan Lakshmi and a Shadi Mubarak in our manifesto, yes. but we delivered it. So manifesto is basically a guiding principle, mm -hmm. guiding, you know, a book which basically guides you for governance in the next five years. But government always has in it to go beyond and above a manifesto and we've done you know things like Ammavadi. I don't know how many of you are aware of Ammavadi. Ammavadi and a concept ain't it. Literally doorstep dagger kelly of a pregnant lady in a pickup chase kuni, check up kiti scochi, I'm a cowls and nutrients and nichi, mali inti dagger digabeti, mali tarot the delivery kuda institutional delivery ki, picking up from the doorstep and then dropping her again back along with the child at her doorstep. This is the most humane thing that I think my government has done. Mm. As a result, institutional deliveries have increased, infant mortality has reduced, maternal mortality also has reduced. And most importantly, young women are getting, you know, the much needed, uh, you know, nutritious food. Mm. And the other thing I also will tell you, I'm working on something which is interesting and quite exciting. I was told by this company when I, I, I'm an industries minister, so I meet a lot of industrialists and companies. So, Bharat Seeram Ankunta company, Peru. They had come to meet me for their expansion, etc. So we were generally chatting. I know Chennai Nadiyan Nenu. So what do you guys do? What is your product? He said, We are a women's healthcare company. I said, What exactly do you do in women's healthcare? Because it's a large subject. They said, uh, We manufacture one of the vaccines which is very, very unique and important, which is not in India. And we just export it. I said, What do you mean export it? He said, any woman with a negative blood group, hmm. like B negative, O negative, A negative, uh, rhesus negative uh, blood group, has a 14% more chance of a lot of loss of blood and sometimes unfortunately, uh, you know, mortality rates are also quite high during pregnancy. Okay. They said this can be avoided if we give this vaccine when they turn adolescent, 14 or 15. So now I'm trying to work with them and see how Telangana can become the first state in India who can wonderful, start uh, wonderful. doing the vaccines. Mm. Even if you save a few lives, I think it's useful. So these are the things. I mean, governance is not just about, you know, being static. You have to be dynamic. You have to understand what the world is doing, what are the best practices across the world, 
how can you pick them up and how can you imbibe and do some of those? So, KTR Garu, I have an important question about the intent of the boat. If you have any schemes or developmental activities, they are all rural centric, rural women, uneducated, illiterate, poor women. They are all rural centric, rural women, uneducated, illiterate, poor women. And I really appreciate that because they are all rural centric. But middle class, above middle class, now we have a lot of women. We have a lot of concerns that you know, we have a lot of concerns that we wanted to be included, inclusive. Inclusive schemes lo, mama ni gula change kau alami, mah kori kasih. What do you all say? Yes. So, ni tu wehab lantik orang tis kau ceru. I appreciate. But what else can the government do for you know for women like us? There's plenty to do. In fact, not just wehab. Wehab and the four exclusive women industrial parks that we have set up are for women. And every industrial park, by the way, has under four industrial parks. Ekor dua ni ente. One in Sultanpur, one in Nandi Gaon. One in, I think, Koheda. It's the fourth one as well, which I can't recall right now. But there are four dedicated industrial women parks, which are already up and running. And then in each and every industrial park in Telangana, we have 10% of the plots earmarked for women entrepreneurs. Likewise, Vihab is a first of its kind initiative in the country. And it's only one of its kind, in fact, in the country now, where women entrepreneurs basically are the leaders. They also, of course, employ men um, and also others. So. There's, there's some things we've done, but on the whole, you're right. Rural women ki wala mere choose the basic subsistence ko some chala jaise na. Under mahila the pension ante, lapa tinka itara itara BD karmik ante, mahila help groups ante, wala chhe se thi wala jaise na. Kan towns kadi ko chhe se ki you're right, especially middle class and upper middle class, they feel that you know we are taxpayers, tax and karta na mo ma ke mus government. One of the things we also do. Not just for women entrepreneurs, but when women employees at large, also is uh, you know the basics, making sure like to you know keeping our city safe, making our city safe, and also promoting. In fact, one of the things I'm going to propose and one of the things I'm going to get done next term when we are elected back is to ensure that uh, you know women also avail loans at a much much you know lower cost. I mean, especially the SMEs, yeah, yeah. small and medium entrepreneurs, the big guys. Big guys, of course, can help themselves, but I think women entrepreneurs especially need a lot of that help. Manufacturing, lo, service sector, lo, bada. that's one of the things I'm proposing to do next term. What are the things that you would love to see in Hyderabad, in Telangana, that are not there elsewhere in the country? Basically, three large hospitals in Hyderabad. Now we are adding seven more and we are doing more Basti Dawa Khanas and we are going to make sure that each of these institutions women focused uh, you know day will be celebrated Arogya Mahila is the program mm. we are going to focus on women's health and make sure that they get the much needed attention and most importantly you know we have been doing uh, you know a lot of safety things especially cyber safety and also physical safety of young women and men, women at large what we have been doing is Barosa centers yeah. what we have also been doing is she teams We've also launched apps like Hawkeye, but I think a lot more needs to be done. So I'm open to ideas, yeah, open yeah. to suggestions, and see how we can constructively yeah. take this discussion yeah. forward. So cyber security, Mirinda kai padoshi teams, Barosa point, this ko charga bate. Then related point, cyber security ko chok matar dhamani. In the meantime, Rashmika Mandana deep fake video me the me responding charu. Then gorinchi matla daru stringent rules government take up chayya and gorche pel. What about these women, the other women who are who have no voice? Ante me andro akala sufferers, victims an kundi. Yen chayya ni me akar kar lari. In the kante general police stations ke velte iwan solve abat le sir. Any cyber crime police station ke lna kuda abro win pinch court le, patinch court le. So an kya? See, crime is also changing. Ante earlier. Uh, in Munna, I was sitting with uh, some, some time ago, I was sitting with uh, some of our police officers, Stephen Ravindra Garu, C. V. Anand Garu, Vilandar Toksar, Kuchin Matlar Thurte. They said something very interesting. They said, Sir, Kapudu, uh, Kuni Section Sundati, Decoitry, Bandi Port Tano, Mutlati. But now they have become redundant. Those sections have to be removed from the Indian Penal Code. And they said, New Age crime is also changing. Now, most of the crime is cyber related. अंटे टेलीफोन लत द्वारा, सोशल मीडिया द्वारा, व्हाट्सएप द्वारा, जरिये क्राइम में पेरुत होंडी, प्लस अनोनिमिटी, अनफॉर्च्युनेटली, इस बोथ गुड एंड बैड, समटाइम्स यू गेट गुड फीडबैक इन सोशल मीडिया, बट समटाइम्स यू नो यू स्टार्ट फीलिंग लाइक इट इज एंटी सोशल मीडिया, इट्स नॉट सोशल 
I'm talking about other opponent parties right now. Wal gude baga mamal target jis center. But but I think women are subjected to more humiliation, more body shaming, more uh, you know personalized, you know kind of very very uncouth uh, attacks. And chala abusive language lo vulgar ka abuse jis center. Nen gude chala sal choose chal. Nenu. because i follow a lot of uh, women yeah. sports stars and other journalists and other people also when you look at their sometimes their and they, they the, the way they respond when somebody body shames them or says something nasty about the way they've dressed etc you feel also insulted like i said at a basic human level one of the things i'm doing which i think has to be done asap so we are drafting a very strong cyber crime legislation wherein offenders can actually be put in a jail if they actually you know outrage the modesty of a woman or a man on social media platforms we are actually bringing that in mm. i know that will be subject to a lot of criticism wonderful sir no no no, no. but it will also be subject know, to a lot of criticism so one of the things i am proposing to do is draft a strong legislation the second thing i am proposing to do rendu edi em anukuntunnan ante manaki vaala 100 undi 104 undi 108 undi three toll free numbers where somebody can call and basically ask for an ambulance or a fire service yeah. or even ghmc you have a toll free line you can just call them and tell them that these are the things that are required i am proposing to set up one single toll free number for all women related issues it could be abuse it could be social media it could be any other complaint maybe we can have just one single number again manned by the government officials in such a way that they can route it say for example the complaint is related to child abuse or domestic violence it can be routed to the relevant department likewise if the complaint is related to some kind of a incentive on an industrial uh, scheme it can be routed to the industries department if it is related to some technology or some social media abuse it can be related to the cyber crime department so atla relay chese tattu oka single entry point pettali ani aalochana undi it can be it can be manned by again both men and women i think one stop shop blog i put pedte okay. that will truly be helpful for all of us what do you guys think yes sir so actually uh, mumbai delhi all are done konu konu prantha lo one eight one oka number okay one eight one is a number which again caters to such kind of women of any kind of abuse about domestic violence or they what lo oka number call is to be done they will direct them it's already there one eight one it is there but it's again it only offers limited uh, services I'm saying a one stop. One eight one is the one stop uh, number. Exactly, yeah. covers all gamuts of life, including anything that you want to do on your own, education or in general, what are my rights? Mm -hmm. That kind of a thing. Even for mental health, if you ask me, even mental health is a huge subject now. Yeah. Dhani kuda mano, we ignore it conveniently. Lot of times, women go through like, for example, postpartum depression. Yeah. People just take it very, very easily, but you know, and there is not enough counselling that happens. These are all the things. I mean, even adolescent young women, mm. they can't talk. They can't talk. They won't talk to others. They go through their own series of issues. The only people they kind of lean on to is their friends, peer group. So, atla, what are all the things that we can cover? Then maybe come out with a solid solution. Again, if it has to be run by women, so be it, because you understand uh, each other better. It can be done that way, or it can be a universal kind of thing where we can include everybody. Sir, pro, chala mandi homemakers and. Uh, కాలేజ్కి వెళ్ళే పిల్లలు అలాగే ఇళ్లల్లో ఉండే ఓల్డ్ విమెన్ ఇట్లా ఇలాంటి చాలా మందికి కొన్ని కొన్ని చిన్న చితక కన్సర్న్స్ ఉన్నాయి అదేంటంటే లాస్ట్ మైల్ కనెక్టివిటీ అవ్వచ్చు లేకపోతే సేఫ్టీ ఆన్ ద రోడ్స్ అవ్వచ్చు లేకపోతే ఇవన్నీ కాకపోయినా కూడా ఇళ్లల్లో కూడా కొంత హోమ్ మేకర్స్ వాళ్ళ హెల్త్ వాళ్ళ వెల్నెస్ గురించి వాళ్ళు కన్సర్న్ ఉంది వాళ్ళకి కానీ ఎక్కడికి వెళ్ళాలి ఎక్కడ చేసుకోవాలి హౌ టు గో టు అ జిమ్ అంటే చాలా మందికి ఆ ధైర్యం ఉండదు టు గో టు అన్ ఓపెన్ జిమ్స్ సో ఇలాగా ఇలాంటి విమెన్ కోసం సేఫర్ ప్లేసెస్ సెక్యూర్డ్ ప్లేసెస్ ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ద సెక్యూరిటీ ఇదేమైనా పాసిబుల్ అవుతుందా గ్రేట్ ఐడియా కెన్ యూ డూ దిస్ సి లెట్స్ నాట్ మేక్ దిస్ ఎలక్షన్ థింగ్ Yeah. I'm confident I'll win. Don't worry. I'm coming back. Usme koi, usme koi shakti. Because we've done good work. I'm winning back. I have no doubt in my mind. I don't think the, even opposition knows this, but they are generally acting smart. But, but having said that, having said that, I don't want to sound too uh, boorish. But <clears throat> we can do one thing. Mm. If you guys agree, let's set a date. Let's set a date in December, uh, prior to 15th. Yeah. In between 3rd and 15th you pick a date let me know bring in some ideas brainstorm 
bring in some ideas i will make a women manifesto for the next 5 years wow amazing you know i i will make this yes. i promise you this i promise you this there are n number of things that can be done like you said you're absolutely right gated community lo unte oka gym untundi akkada you have a secure feeling so you go what about outside of gated communities in colonies in bastis in slums my corporator from sita phal mandi is here this lady this young lady needs introduction her name is samala hema she used to be a google employee she is now a phd am i phd would just in monane she came in on her own and she is now our corporator from sita phal mandi a young woman who sh- you should certainly watch out for she has a lot of promising future ante itlaant ammayilu politics lo kuda raval can't just be about uh, you know uh, yeah. just you know being entrepreneurs and other things it also is about participation in political system as well of course i'll get some criticism on that i know dan gurinchi kuda maatladtanu kaani what i'm promising you is between 3rd december uh, when we win the election and 15th because i need a break also a madhyalo a madhyalo let's pick a date let's pick a date and you guys in the meantime brainstorm a bit come out with an agenda for the other uh, road ahead for next 5 years women gyms pettali women university okati undi inka education ni health ni etla center stage ki teesukon raavali last mile connectivity my dream is also to have hop on hop off shuttles meaning electric buses petti meer station lo digangane oka 3 4 km radius lo free service going home should be easy if you should not again feel that nenu malli akkada digi nadichukunta povali ante madhyalo oka mugru nalugu vedavulu untaru ఇట్లాంటి నాన్ సెన్స్ ఉండకూడదు ఉండకూడదు అంటే యూ షుడ్ ఫీల్ సేఫ్ యూ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ దీస్ వెహికల్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ బేసికలీ అగైన్ ఫుల్లీ ఎక్విప్ విత్ సెక్యూరిటీ కెమెరాస్ అండ్ ఇన్స్టలేషన్స్ వేర్ ఇఫ్ సంబడి డస్ సంథింగ్ నాన్ సెన్స్ అండ్ న్యూ సెన్స్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి ఇమీడియట్లీ రిపోర్టెడ్ అండ్ యాక్షన్ షుడ్ బి టేకెన్ సో అందులో కొన్ని చేయొచ్చు కొన్ని మళ్ళీ చేయాలి కాబట్టి వీ నీడ్ టు ఫిగర్ అవుట్ వాట్ కెన్ బి డన్ ఇన్ ద షార్ట్ టర్మ్ మీడియం టర్మ్ లాంగ్ టర్మ్ హౌ కెన్ బి డ్రా అవుట్ అ మ్యాప్ and say to the communicate to the rest of the country that this is something we are doing okay. and the uh, rest of india can follow